What's up, Sailor Senshi? This is Sailor Snubs, and welcome to Sailor Senshi News Network. Happy Friday, everyone. Today is May 21st, 2021, and I finally have some more Sailor Moon news for you, so I'm finally able to record another one of these episodes. Apologies in advance if you hear some banging in the background. I'm currently, uh, my house is under construction because I'm building a brand new studio in my basement, so my basement is being finished. So they're putting in flooring this week and I am so excited. If you want to see updates on that, you can check out my other, my tech YouTube channel. It's youtube.com slash Shannon Morse for all sorts of videos about that entire construction process. So the first piece of news that I have for you is actually a music video. So this music video premiered on YouTube. So you can check it out on the official Bishoujo Senshi Sailor Moon website. Uh, this actually has a ton of spoilers in it for the second movie, which is Bishoujo Senshi Sailor Moon Eternal Part 2, which is premiering on Netflix on June 3rd. So if you don't want spoilers, I highly recommend not watching it. I did watch it because I was curious about the music, and it's definitely like a J-rock song, and it's really cool, so I really enjoyed the music. The song is called Moon Effect, which was recorded for the limited edition Blu-ray and DVD. There is a longer version that's going to be available on the Blu-ray and DVD, however, they put a shorter version available up just on YouTube. Next up, I do have some merchandise news. You can now order the very, very cute figure art mini of Super Sailor Neptune over on Box Lunch. She's slightly more expensive than what you can find on other websites. She's $32.90, but I know a lot of people have access to Box Lunch, so there you go if you want it. Box Lunch also does a ton of coupons, a ton of deals, so definitely keep an eye out for discounts. You could also use like one of those cash coupons that Box Lunch likes to hand out like candy. So definitely check her out if you are interested in purchasing her. Hot Topic also has a couple of new items I wanted to point out. First off is this really cute long sleeve t-shirt. This is in men's sizes. I'm very interested in it. It looks really cute. On the side we have in katakana it says Sailor Moon and then on the front there's a classic picture of Sailor Moon kind of laying on the crescent moon. We've seen that art before, but it's definitely a really adorable long sleeve t-shirt if you are interested. We also have a Logo Girls Baby t-shirt, and they do have all sizes in stock of this one. Uh, this is listed in junior sizes, so definitely check your sizing if you want to order one of these so you don't size too small. I've actually had that problem before with Hot Topic, so definitely make sure that you do your sizing so you know what size to get but it's a super cute pink t-shirt. Uh, this one costs about $26.90 to $30.90 MSRP. However, it's currently 20% off. I did want to point out that those sweatpants that everybody is freaking out about, they are still in stock for some of the sizes. I just received mine in the mail, so I'm going to be doing a review of these in case you have been holding off. That way you can see if they are actually worth it or if they are really comfortable. I'm super excited to check them out. I got a size small, so... Hopefully they fit. So none of these are particularly new over on the GameStop website, but I did want to point out that you can purchase a ton of the Q-Paw skits as well as the figure art minis over on their website. So if you are interested in grabbing any of those, they do have pretty decent pricing and a lot of these are up for pre-order. So definitely check those out. Big Bad Toy Store also has the new HGIF set of five figures. These are based on the previous HGIF set that came out long time ago, many, many years ago. So if you never got a chance to get those vintage versions, then these are a, basically a recreation of those. They are a little bit bigger and they feature updated painting, some pearlescent paint on the front of them. It's They're supposed to look really cute. I can't wait to get mine in. I actually ordered mine from, I want to say Premium Bandai, so I'll probably get them in the mail from Japan whenever that purchase is received at my warehouse address, so it'll probably be in a couple of weeks. So Great Eastern Entertainment has some really cute shirts that I wanted to point out. Again, none of these are actually new in any sense, but they are ones that I haven't seen online very often reviewed by anybody else. And uh, I just ordered one kind of to test it out and see what it looked like. 
I decided to grab this Sailor Moon S Villains Die Sublimation Juniors t-shirt. I got it in a large. You can check it out over on my Instagram channel. I'm also featuring it in a upcoming video on my YouTube channel as well, but they do have a few Sublimation Juniors t-shirts and they are really cute. This is some art that I haven't seen before or it's art that is pretty rare in the merchandise front. So definitely something to keep an eye on if you are looking for something cute to wear. If you haven't heard of Great Eastern Entertainment, they are a licensed brand here in North America, so any of these products that you get are licensed products. GHL over on Instagram is still doing a pickup of those Kingsley desserts purchases. Uh, those include cups, there's a metal straw that you can get, as well as a really cute glass mug if you wanted to grab one of those. Uh, this is the last call for this order, so I wanted to point those out in case you wanted to get anything from Kingsley Desserts. So that's it for the Sailor Moon news for today. Again, this was Sailor Senshi News Network. If you are interested in this kind of content in the future, don't forget to subscribe and make sure to like and share this channel with all of your Sailor Moony friends. I really appreciate you checking this video out and I thoroughly enjoy doing these kind of videos to keep you updated on everything. So I found this week, and of course this is a brand new show and I'm definitely experimenting with it. I found this week that not a lot of news was coming out every single days. So there wasn't really a point in doing these videos every day because it would be like a two second video because there's like one thing that would come out. I'll be posting these videos as often as possible as long as there is some kind of news to share. Again, I'm Sailor Snubs. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Johnny.